thank goodness October is over. Uh, what a pitiful month for movies, really, if you think back on it. Uh, but let's get into it. October, uh, best movies. There were two movies I really liked, uh, The Accountant and The Ouija Movie. And that's going to be my pick of the month for best movie. Uh, the Ouija Movie was surprisingly really good. You know I am not the biggest horror fan. I wasn't even planning on going to see this movie. I was blown away by how scary it is. Um, I love this time period that is set in 1965. And it's not like a, this fake cheesy horror movie that we get anymore. It was real feeling. Um, it was scary. Like I said, the little girl is super creepy. And I just really enjoyed this movie. It's not only the best movie of the month. It was my best horror movie of the year. And that's saying something because this year we've had some good horror movies. If you like horror movies, definitely. You need to check this out. Alright, for my worst of the month, by far it was Keeping Up With The Joneses. This movie I thought could be funny. It had a great cast. But unfortunately, it just fell flat a lot of the time. There was long periods of the movie that just weren't funny. There was a few funny parts, but for the most part, it was pretty generic, um, pretty lazy, and just wasn't very funny. And for that reason, I've got to, you know, stick with my original view. I gave it a 2 out of 5. Fortunately, this year has not been the year for comedies. There has been very few good comedies. Now let's jump right into November. This month looks much, much better. Um, right off the gate, we get three movies coming out in the first week, starting off with Doctor Strange. This movie looks crazy good. I love the Marvel movies here lately. They're really doing a good job of making each movie its own thing, and it looks like Doctor Strange is doing that here. This looks like a more mysticism kind of uh, multiple realm kind of Marvel movie. And it just looks really good. I have Benedict Cumberbatch as Doctor Strange. Looks interesting to me. I can't wait to see this. Uh, next up we have Hacksaw Ridge. This is the Mel Gibson directed movie. He's come back from a long hiatus. Listen, block out all of Mel Gibson's outside activities. He's a great director. And this movie has great buzz. Uh, it really looks like a good war movie. I haven't seen a good war movie in a long time. I mean, Fury was pretty good, but this looks spectacular. Andrew Garfield. Um, the trailers have looked great. I can't wait to see this movie. I can't wait to see if Mel Gibson brings it again, which I really do think he is going to. And last but not least, on the third, first week of November, we get the animated movie Trolls. This is Anna Kendrick, Justin Timberlake, a DreamWorks movie based on the old 90s toys, the little troll things. I had some when I was a kid. And, you know, the trailers for this don't look horrible. Um, I am a sucker for good animated movies, even average animated movies I like sometimes. So, this looks good. It's holding a really high Rotten Tomatoes scores right now. I think it's like 85, 86%. So, uh, I am definitely looking forward to this as well. Then on the 11th, we have two new releases that I'm interested in. One is Arrival. This is a sci-fi movie. Um, you've got Amy Adams who is like this uh, expert in language and these little egg-shaped pods have landed all over Earth and they come for her to kind of try and talk to aliens, figure out what they're here for. Uh, just the overall scope and view look of the movie in the trailers looked really impressive. Um, it is another movie that is getting really good reviews, um, so I am psyched. I love sci-fi. This looks like my cup of tea. Um, the other movie coming out that week is Billy Lynn's Long Halftime Walk. This is an Ang Lee film. For me, Ang Lee is kind of hit or miss sometimes. But the uh, one trailer that has come out for this movie did look pretty good. I heard it's kind of getting a mixed reception, so we'll have to wait and see. But for me, I am looking forward to this movie um, about a soldier who, I guess, is in a halftime show. And he's kind of contemplating or thinking about his life. Uh, uh, you know, maybe he's probably got post-traumatic stress syndrome or whatever, so I don't know. It looks pretty interesting. Then on the 18th, we get three new movies. The first one and the biggest one, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. This is the prequel 100 years before the original Harry Potter um, about this guy in New York in who's uh, hunting down beasts that he's let loose or something. I'm not really sure on the details. It's from the world of Harry Potter, and just here recently I watched the Harry Potter movies. I did enjoy them. Um, I'm looking forward to this. The trailers do look good. I'm almost more excited about this than I was the Harry Potter movies because um, this takes place so far before the original Harry Potters. It really doesn't look like it's going to have much to do with Harry Potter. Then we get the Edge of 17. We got Haley Steinfeld, who is kind of this new upcoming actress. I really did like her in Pitch Perfect. 
Um, she seems like this is going to be her breakout movie. Woody Harrelson's in here. Kind of a coming of age movie for girls. She uh, is, I guess, struggling with her looks and things in high school. It looks really, really good. It looks like some really edgy comedy. Uh, some dark humor in there, and Woody Harrelson looks fantastic as her kind of teacher mentor. Looks really good. I've been looking forward to this ever since I saw the first trailer. And then we get the boxing movie, Bleed for This, which, um, I, you know, I'm kind of over. I'm kind of burnt out on boxing movies here lately. But this one does look interesting. Um, you got Miles Teller here. He's like at the top of his game, and then he's in a car accident or something, hurts his neck. And, you know, everybody says you're never going to box again. But apparently he's just not going to give up. And I guess it's about his story about trying to be, you know, box again. It looks interesting. It's not really my most anticipated of the month. But it's definitely something I will see, especially if we get some decent reviews. And the last week, the 23rd, we get three more movies. Like I said, November is packed. Um, we got Moana, the Disney animated movie. Disney has been on a roll here lately. Zootopia, Wreck-It Ralph. Uh, Frozen, Tangled, they've all been great. They have just been spitting out hit after hit after hit. And this looks like another one. The trailers look beautiful. I mean, this has got to be one of the best looking Disney movies I have seen. Just on the trailers alone, it just looks breathtaking. Uh, the story here looks interesting. Looks like there's going to be a lot of laughs. you got The Rock playing one of the main characters. Uh, they just released a clip, apparently, of him singing it. I didn't watch it because I don't want to be ruined. Uh, this just looks like another Disney masterpiece, so I can't wait to see Moana. Then you have the Ben Affleck, Mary Cotillard, uh, Allied, which is like this interesting kind of Mr. and Mrs. Smith set in, I guess, World War II or World War I. Uh, it looks very interesting. I haven't heard a whole lot about this movie. I watched the original trailer. It looked good. I like Ben Affleck movies, so, and it looks like it could be an interesting flip. And then last but not least, we've got Bad Santa 2. Um, I love the first Bad Santa. I just recently rebought it here. I'm going to do a classic review before this movie comes out uh, to rewatch it, see if it holds up, see if I still love it as much as I thought I did, and then uh, we'll see this new one. I remember loving Bad Santa because, because it was just so raunchy at the time. I don't know. We've got so many raunchy comedies now. I don't know if it's going to hold up, but we will see. The sequel looks interesting. And that is November. We are packed. This looks not only is full with movies, a lot of these could be really, really best movie of the year contenders. So I can't wait to see all these great movies. So for classic movie reviews this month, like I said, I'm going to be doing Bad Santa. I want to see if this movie holds up, if it's as good as I thought it was. I have two more Harry Potters to do to get ready for Fantastic Beasts. As far as TV, I want to shout out for the millionth time, everybody watch Superstore. The show is incredible. It's so funny. It has quickly become my, my favorite show of this season. It was already good last season. Check it out. It is fan freaking tastic. And with that, I'm going to say uh, see you next month. Peace out. If you like this video, click that like button. Comment below if you want to talk to me about anything. Uh, click the Rainy Cakes button to subscribe and keep up to date with all my videos. And I'll leave you with a few of my most recent videos and some of these sweet, sweet dance moves. This is Rainy Cage. Peace out.